Hey, woo! Big D, what's up, man? Great, man. This whole set, man. I'm doing this movie called The Past it's with uh, Candy Burris, Todd Tucker, uh, Rob Riley, um, Blue Kimball, Reese Odom. Like, crazy, crazy cast. So Crazy cast. Just wrapped. Yeah, man. So it's a blessing, man. Just, just working and, you know, bringing the new year in properly. Wow. So wait, you say you guys just rap just now? Today. <laughs> I got you. That's dope. That's dope, man. So shout out to Lil' Kim. You say Lil' Kim too, right? No, 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 no. Blue Kimball. Oh, Kimball. Kimball. Okay, yeah. cool. Kimball. Yeah, okay, yeah. I got you. So let's get right into it, bro, because I'm going to just say this. You are one of the hardest working brothers that I've seen around. And um, I want to make sure I give you your accolades because you've been doing some amazing work. Very impressive. Some Thank very you. impressive work. So um, let's, let's get it right into it, man. Let's, let's, let's hear about from, from yourself. Who is Dennis White? Man, I'm a, a son, a father, a brother, a fighter, a lover, a worker, a grinder, a hustler. And just an overall entertainer. And you definitely are an entertainer. You have been in over 60 projects total, over 60 TV shows and, and, uh, and films total. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's been, it's been a great career. You know, I, um, I've been working. It's a blessing to be a, be a working actor. And, you know, I know in this industry you got to keep on, you know, evolving and, and reimagining who you are and, and opening up doors for other people and opening doors for yourself as well. Mm. Yeah, so um, a lot of people know you from D-Rock on Notorious. That's what we, you know, us yeah. street dudes, we kind of <laughs> remember that one. And we was like, oh, man, he killed it, man, blah, 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 blah. But that's just a smidgen of what you've been into. So you want to drop a little bit of your accolades? Tell them about some of the films that you've starred in here recently. Man, uh, well... Probably my first big break was the Brave one with Jodie Foster. Um, wow. That was my, my biggest break, my initial. And then, you know, Notorious, uh, Atlanta. I did a couple episodes of Atlanta. Yeah. I was on Parenthood on NBC. Um, the Family Business. Yeah, Kennedy. First two seasons. Yeah, Kennedy. I played yeah. Kennedy on Family Business. Um, so I, I, I've been working a lot, man. Yeah. You know, and... and you know, I was the first African American host on Fuse Television. You have definitely that been all the doors. Yeah, and so speaking of open doors, you have your own business where you have for twelve yeah. plus years been opening doors for other actors. You want to talk about that real quick? Yeah, my company's called Act Like You Know, and I've been teaching the knowledge of being working act, being a working actor. Wow, twelve years, man! Yeah, Just really empowering these actors to to go get it. From you know, new actors, celebrities. I coach celebrities. I coach everybody. You might ask interested in getting the acting. I'm, I'm on them. That's what I'm, that's what I wanted to salute you with. So, what made you decide? Not just me. Let me grab some brothers and sisters and bring them along. What made you decide to open up that company? You know what? I was getting inundated with people asking me about what it takes to get into the business, and I had a knowledge to answer all their questions. So I was like, you know what? Let me let me. Spread it out. So I, I, I said, I'm going to do a little workshop in New York, and I'm probably about five or ten people come. It was like a hundred people there. Wow. And so I, I realized that the industry doesn't really teach you, you know, and you have to deal with the trial and error. So I've been to the trial and error. I, I've done everything from extra work to stunt double. I was a stunt double for 50 Cent. I did uh, reality shows. I did every single thing. <laughs> so I'm like, let me get the knowledge that I have to, to these actors so they won't have to go through what I go through or what I've been through. Yeah, but that was dope to even want to reach back and grab some folks. So salute to that. But I heard you lived in D.C. kind of by default for a little while, about a year some change. Let's, let's hear that. It was a crazy story. So I said, let me, <laughs> let me hear it from him directly. How did you end up being in our city for a year and some change when you're supposed to be way in New York somewhere? What up, young? Yeah, I was, <laughs> I was lunching, young. Yeah, you know what it is. I was on that mambo sauce heavy, young. Yeah, yeah, you know what it is. <laughs> now, you know what? So I was I was doing a, I was directing a play that we were going to, you know, in New York. And um, instead of being there for a month, we only were there for two weeks. So I decided to go to D.C. for a week or two to go to the studio. Um, 
um, Mariah Carey's head of security had an apartment for me in New York, but he was, they got an, their tour got extended. So I'm like, you know what? I'll just stay in DC for a little bit. So that two weeks ended up being a, like a year and a half. And so I started teaching at community centers. And then I was, um, I started auditioning at Howard for yeah. like all their plays. That's what me and Chad with Bozeman became really good friends. Yeah. And um, I was in Howard's touring company. So I did a lot of theater there and, and I ended up producing, I mean, not producing, but performing my first album, The Wonderful World of Dennis as a rapper. And, and just DC was a great city for me because I learned so much before, you know, being full time in New York. And, you know, I don't think D.C. gets the credit that it should. Like, there's some of the most talented people that I've ever met in my life in D.C. Yay. And so I, I did so much in D.C. And, you know, full circle, I came back and uh, was dealing with uh, Megamind Media, Tressa. Yay. And I, I've done, like, five movies with them. Secrets, All In, um, Dear Best Friend, and some other ones. So, you know, D.C. is a... Is, is, about to be the hotbed of film and television. Yay. And that's very true. Shout out to Tressa. Shout out to Mega Minds. That's, that's our family. family. So we already know Donnie. you over there. Yeah. We, yeah, man. We rock with the whole gang over there, Don and all them. So shout out to the gang over there. But man, you, like I said, so you, you drop albums. You was doing film. So you, Rear Cats also. Shout out to Rear Cats up there, Howard. She's not there now, but she was yeah. ch teaching Chad at the time. So um, you was really locked into the city, I see. You was all in. <laughs> I had no choice, man. You know, I, I lived there and, and it was just, I was soaking up so much knowledge. And, you know, one thing that people don't understand is when you get in this business, I tell actors all the time, be the biggest thing in the city that you in. Don't be from Des Moines, Iowa, and don't do any theater and don't do any independent films and expect to go to Hollywood and become a star. Like, be the hottest thing in that city, yes. you know, and it's, it's, it's a fallacy that people have that, you know what, I, I'm going to start my career when I get to L.A. Or, or get to New York or Atlanta. It's like, nah, start where you at. Build there. So yeah. when you go to the major cities, you have some, some grit on you. You have some, something underneath your belt. That's great it. information. So we got to get ready to wrap, D, but I want to make sure that um, they can follow you in the whole nine. But before we get to that, you got one hour, one, one artist, who are you listening to? You're in a great mood. Everything is great. You got that one hour. One artist. It can be a group or it can be a single solo artist. Who are you listening to? You can't take them out once one, you pop them in. One whole hour. One whole hour, though, of whatever it is. Oh, man. It got to be Stevie Wonder. It got to be Stevie Wonder. <laughs> His catalog is so crazy. It'll last me for an hour and a half, two, three hours, but at least an hour. Man, you said my favorite artist in the whole wide yeah. world, Mr. Stevie oh, Wonder himself, man. When I say dope, that brother is, whoo, a living legend. You, you can't go wrong, can you, man? Can't go wrong with that. Old school, whatever he got going on is a hit. You know what Stevie Wonder told me the last time I saw him? What's that? He was like, it's good seeing you again. I'm like, bro, you a <laughs> <laughs> So look, so look. I, he called me one night because his, his folks was on the show. Uh, to make a shout out to me, so she was on the show, and he called me that night on and um FaceTime. on Facetime. And so I'm in there okay. ducking and acting like he can see me and all this. So it was real funny, man. I'm like, babe, <laughs> he, he can't said, see you. But the running joke was he saw Shaq in the elevator and was like, what's up, Shaq? Like, he can see. And so everybody make the yeah. running joke. And Stevie Wonder makes these jokes. We so you know he's a hilarious dude, we right? He's yeah, <laughs> yeah, totally hilarious. So, we man, we respect the legend. Yes. Yeah, definitely, man. Salute to you, though, too, brother. We're giving you flowers, Thank man, you. because you've done some amazing things. But we got to get ready to wrap. Where can they follow you? Sure. Make sure they, you give out your accolade. Where can they follow you on social media before you roll? Most definitely. So make sure you check out The Prayer on Tubi. My um, de directorial debut, debut is on Tubi. So make sure you check that out, The Prayer. Um, you can follow me on at Dennis L.A. White on all social media platforms. If you're interested in acting, go to actlikeyouknow.org. That's actlikeyouknow.org. And I teach classes, workshop. I have a workshop coming up uh, on the 23rd of, of this month. So jump in. It's virtual. If you want to get into this business, tune in and, 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 you know, follow me. I'll follow you right back. It's all love. I appreciate Yay. you, brother. But before we go, 
director. Let's add that to the accolades. Yes. That's a big deal to be director, a director, producer, brother. Writer, producer, writer. writer. So I got two or three films in the can myself that I'm getting ready to try to shoot. I'm going to get in touch with you and see if we can make some magic. But I appreciate you, brother. Thank you for locking in the spotlight over the city. Y'all give it up for my main man, Dennis White in the building. Woo! My main man. You know we call you D-Rock. You know we call you D-Rock. Yes, D-Rock. <laughs> oh, good. Put my my God. Put my first, mother. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that way. <laughs> hey, we love you, bro. Right. Be good. Love hey, next know, up in the spotlight, amazing. man. Yeah, that's amazing, brother, man. We ain't even have enough time to give him all his accolades, but I just like to give up the flowers while they're here. So yes. one time for my main man, Dennis. But, but guess what? What? We got a closer. Yes, we do. He's dope. Yes, he is. He's getting ready to kill it. Yes, he is. He bought a band. Yes. A live band. So we'll be right back. Spotlight over the city.